What's up everybody, I am Saurabh and today we are going to discuss how you can edit Canon EOS R's C-Log footage in DaVinci Resolve. Well, color correcting uh, the EO log footage is a little bit tricky sometimes if you are a beginner like me. I was a beginner uh, a month ago and I was, I was like trying different kind of uh, editing softwares which will fit the like which is the easiest one how i can how i'm going to do this but uh, when i tried the multiple or uh, different kind of editing software such as final cut pro x then i tried uh, adobe premiere pro and then i uh, then i brought a plugin for final cut pro x which is color finale 2.2 i think 2.2 yeah i think so yeah that's the version currently available and I tried that but I was like not able to get the perfect uh, perfect image out of EOS R so let me tell you my experience about which one is the best software according to what I have encountered so I think DaVinci Resolve uh, which is of absolutely free of cost. If you want to buy Final Cut Pro X, it's like super expensive. It's like you have to pay $200 upfront to uh, apple.com and then you can get it. And after also the Adobe Premiere Pro, you have to purchase a monthly um, plan and you don't owe that software at all. So I think the free version, which is DaVinci Resolve is the best one because it's absolutely free there's nothing to think about it free is the best yeah now uh, if you want to edit uh, C log in DaVinci Resolve let's see how we can do that so let's see how we can edit this C log footage that I shot before filming this uh, yeah also one more thing I'm using newer SL 60 watt uh, LED light which cost only $136 and I'm gonna post the link of uh, link of that LED light below in my YouTube description and also I brought the newers uh, diffusion box you can see this yeah it's too yeah and this is like uh, okay let's see it from here you can see so this is this diffusion box is like uh, just cost eighty five dollars and yeah this is like amazing this is like thirty six centimeters that's what the description says yeah so let's get back okay yep so let's uh, see right here how we can edit the C log footage so all you have to do is uh, Import your image in DaVinci Resolve and then uh, start editing in the editing tab below. Okay, so here we go. You all you need is primary wheels. Okay, use the primary wheels. You can see the scope. The scope over here is a waveform which I'm using for. Uh, so one more thing, I'm gonna teach you only basic color correction, not the complete editing workflow. Okay, so yeah. So let's first of all uh, increase, oh I think decrease the lift, whoops sorry not that one, here we go, decrease the lift. So we got our shadows back, now increase the gain, let's increase, okay that's too much, yeah right there. And as you can see here, it's, it is looking crisp and perfectly good. Let's play it. You can see here. It looks good, isn't it? Yeah. And suppose if you want to do a little bit of uh, that teal and orange cinematic look, that's what people are going nowadays and talking about. So let's see. I think all you have to do is uh, decrease the lift. Yep. Oh, maybe let's go to the teal side. And uh, again, should be on. 
this side so there you go i think that's too much of orange but let's bring back our vectroscope and you can see uh, and one more thing you have to do here is settings uh, where is the show screen indicator yeah i think it's working so screen indicator right here yeah here we go that's the screen i mean not screen that's skin indicator skin yeah and let's do a little bit of yeah i think there you go that's not a very perfect because i'm also a beginner but that works best for you and you have to play with a little bit around it but i'm going to teach you only the color correction because i'm not the perfect professional so you can see right here again the waveform yeah your shadows are down your uh lift and which is highlight uh, no gain which is highlights are up and if you want to add a little bit of saturation you can also do that let's increase saturation maybe make it 52 add a little bit of contrast and there you go you can see the picture looks perfect by the way the noise uh, you can see a little bit it's because of my lens so that's it it's so freaking simple I hope you like uh, the editing workflow here and hit like subscribe uh, this is my new channel and here in on this channel I'm gonna just share you a little tips and tricks about how you can quickly edit or a little bit of like I don't know what will the future of it but I'm gonna share you uh, share with you guys lots of uh, film editing tutorials Whatever I will learn, I will share with you. So a beginner like me will not get stuck at any point. But trust me, DaVinci Resolve is the best one, best edition of software, and it is used by a lot of professionals, re literally. Like, it is used in, many of the films are edited on DaVinci Resolve. So I think that's the best one. You should try it out. And it's freaking simple. So good luck, hit likes, and subscribe.